Even best friends have limits, Sam. Clover's right. Why don't you go sign up for the spelling bee while we wait here? You know, where it isn't so geekified. Fine. I'll go in by myself. Cheer up, Sam. When you're done, we'll take you out for some celebratory spring rolls. Isn't it a little huh? early for celebrating, Clover? I mean, the actual competition isn't for a few days. Trust me, Alex. No one's gonna beat Sam. She's like a total shoe-in for victory. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Now, out of my way. I've got a spelling bee to sign up for. You're joking, right? I mean, since when are you into spelling? I am not into spelling, Sam. I am into winning. And more importantly, I am into beating you. And showing everyone that not only am I the prettiest, best-dressed girl at Bev High, I am also the smartest. In fact, my daddy has hired a world-famous linguist, a professional hypnotist, and a top yoga guru to make sure that I get what I want. So good luck, Sam. You're gonna need it. <coughs> if she thinks I'm gonna let her win my spelling bee, then that hair dye has definitely seeped into her brain. Well, what are you gonna do, Sam? Mandy's got those two brainiacs and that, that, that yogurt guy. I'm gonna beat her the old-fashioned way by studying really hard. In that case, we're gonna help you. We are? Sure. I mean, even though we totally detest the library, there's no way we're gonna let Mandy beat our Sammy. Come on! <laughs> so, where do we start? Right here, at the dictionaries. Afternoon, ladies. So good of you to pop in. Oh, Jerry, as your friend, I gotta tell you, your jokes are getting seriously old. <clears throat> Very well, then. Let's get down to business. It's been brought to our attention that the Honeybees, the California State Championship High School Cheerleading Squad, are MMCC. MMCC? Missing Mid Cheering Competition. The team was scheduled to arrive at the Nationals this morning in Miami, but they never materialized. Okay, I'm afraid to ask this, but uh, where do we fit in? You girls are to go undercover and find out if anyone knows what happened to them. As of right now, you're the new California State Champions. The new <laughs> pets. Please tell me about another one of your bad jokes. No such luck, Sam. You mean we get to be cheerleaders? That's correct. No way! This mission rocks! And now for the gadgets. <laughs> This week we have three pairs of spring-loaded sneakers, the mini locket rocket, a tube of lip stick, a metal cutting laser ring, and my personal favorite, instant hair helmet in a can. Oh, wow. Awesome lid, Jer. You know, for a bald dude. Hmm, thank you, Clover. Now, goodbye and good luck on your trip. <laughs> ah, you get it? Trip! <laughs> Who says my jokes aren't funny? I can't believe Jerry's making us do this. I mean, what could possibly be more humiliating? Sorry I asked. Ooh, I love it! Ooh. Please tell me you're not serious. Of course I'm serious, Sammy! I love cheerleading! Is it just the lame outfits, or do you like the brainless flitting around, too? Okay, for your information, Sam, cheerleading is a highly competitive, highly challenging sport with a long-standing tradition of spirited optimism. And a long-standing tradition of big hair. Hmm. Enough bickering, girls. We've got honeybees to find, remember? Right. right. So, where do we start? We find out if any of these girly girls have a grudge against the honeybees. Did you say honeybees? Uh, yeah? Shame what happened to him, isn't it? Oh, you kidding? Those witches won ten years in a row. About time someone else had a chance. Totally. I'm, like, glad they're MIA. Yeah, good riddance. Guess this means everyone's a suspect. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the National High School Cheerleading Competition. The first team up is the squad from Beverly Hills, California, the Woobets.
to go along with this little presentation. We whoop to the left. We whoop to the right. The Beverly Hills girls all whoop out of sight. Positively explosive. Oh, rub it in, why don't ya? Jerry, what can you tell us about the widow's coach? Her name's Sweet. Hmm. That's odd. Nothing comes up. Well, keep searching. Come on, girls. We better find the widows before they leave for camp.
longer. Uh, ladies, when you're done chatting, you might want to take a look. That's the Black Widow's training camp? Not very upbeat or peppy, is it? one for Father's Day. Man, talk about a small practice space. How do they get anything done in here? Um, Alex, this is a closet. Oh, right. I knew that. Time for a little undercover action. Do you see any big, scary, muscle-bound cheerleaders, Sammy? Negative. Looks like the coast is clear. Okay, this is definitely the strangest cheerleading camp in the world. <gasps> Just got a whole lot stranger. Whoa! I really hope that's the sound of fireworks. It's coming from in there. Don't look at me. I snuck us in here. Hey, I found the disguises. <gasps> Fine, I'll do it. Just watch my back. And my front. And, and all the rest of me. at a bad time. Actually, it wasn't that bad until you called. Don't mind her. She's just a bit tense. So quickly, what have you got? Turns out Candy's real name is Margaret Nussbaum. She's an ex-robotics engineer for the U.S. Military Combat Department. Explains a lot about the little operation we saw in the other room. The reason I couldn't find her in the database is because she changed her name to Candy Sweet just last week after opening her cheerleading camp in Nevada. And one more thing. She went to the same high school as the missing honeybees, only she graduated ten years earlier. Cheer, roll that tape of the state competition again. I knew I recognized the Black Widow's routine from somewhere. It's the exact same as the honeybees. You know, only robotically enhanced. You're pretty smart for a cheerleader. <laughs> So, I simply can't risk you whoopets going out into the world and blabbing about my master plan. Master plan? And here I thought you were smart. Oh well, guess I'll just have to spell it out for you. You see, when I take my Black Widows to the world competition, they're gonna put on a show no one will ever forget. Your point? They're going to take out everyone in that entire stadium. All those who love the vapid world of cheerleading, that is. Um, why so bitter, Candy? Like, what did the vapid world of cheerleading ever do to you? I tried out for the honeybees ten years ago, but didn't make the squad. Apparently, I wasn't sweet enough. What is that thing? Oh, just a little machine I invented to download the honeybees' moves and put them into the brains of my robots. Now I'm going to use it on you girls. But we aren't even real cheerleaders. We don't know any moves. And then I guess my machine will just turn your brains to mush. To the spider copter. Wait. My brain turning to mush, I'll never win the spelling bee. And I'll never get to become a professional cheerleader. Actually, Clover, Having no brain might increase your chances. Um, girls, this really isn't the time for one of your squabbles. In case you haven't noticed, we're in serious trouble here! You're right. We better use our brains to figure out how to get out of here before it's too late. Awesome! Okay, girls, here's the plan. I'll call Jerry and tell him we need to get to Tahiti ASAP. Clover, you free the bees and restore their memories. And Alex, you figure out how to put an end to this very, very, very bad hair day. Hello, welcome to the World Cheerleading Please give a warm welcome to our first
first competitors from the United States, it's the Black Widow!
Everything looks good on East Wing. Over and out. Hey, who's there? Robbie Guthrie. Who? Robbie Guthrie, as in my grade school nemesis. Girls, our perfect day has just been ruined by a dark cloud. I think he's kind of cute. Cute? Alex, the guy is a total loser. He tormented me for years. He was always doing mean things to me, like pulling my pigtails, putting kick me signs on my back, and shoving worms in my lunchbox. Well, get over it already. Grade school was like a really long time ago. Yeah, Clover, people change. Oh, please. I'm sure he's the same old jerk I knew in third grade. As a matter of fact, I'm going over there right now to give him a piece of my mind. This should be good. Robbie Guthrie? Clover? Clover? Is it really you? The one and only. NPS, you can stop drooling anytime. Sorry, it's just you look a lot cuter than you did in grade school. Whatever. I'm serious. As a matter of fact, why don't you let me take you out this weekend? We can catch a movie and get reacquainted. I don't know. Come on. It's the least I could do for being such a jerk to you when we were kids. Oh, no. Okay, let's do it. Great. I'll call you. <laughs> so, what happened? I'm going on a date with Robbie. Pee, that was unexpected. Way to let go of the past. Clover. Uh, yeah, are you kidding? I'm only going out with that creep so I can get back at him. I'm gonna give Robbie a taste of his own medicine. Now, how shall I do it? This better be important. I've got some serious revenge wanting to do. Oh, it's important, all right. Someone's destroying energy banks around the globe. Wow, creepy. Indeed. Not only have we lost the Hoover Dam, we've lost several electrical and nuclear power plants as well. Actually, the creepy thing I was talking about was the fact that you were eavesdropping on our conversation. People will soon be without heat and electricity. It's sure to be chaos in the streets. And I wasn't eavesdropping, I just happened to overhear. So, who do you think's behind this, Jer? We don't have any leads yet, but we'd better come up with something quick as the effects of this crisis are quite disturbing. The next suspected target is the South American Pipeline. That's where your mission will begin, spies. Then, what are we waiting for? Load us up! Of course. Today you'll be utilizing the Whoop Turbo Submarine, the expandable cable bungee belt, now in a more stylish faux snakeskin, heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses, and a tube of high-gloss moisturizing lip stalk. You mean lipstick? No, I mean lip stalk. A lipstick with a built-in tracking device. Excellent! <laughs> now, prepare for departure. <laughs>
absolutely amazing. Yeah, we can't thank you enough. By the way, who are you guys? I'm Pam. This is Alice and Crimson. We're spies from WOOP, the World Organization of Human Protection. I can't believe it's really you. This is just too good to be true. So, let me get this straight. You used to have our jobs? Until we were captured by the villain on our last mission. Edison. He held us prisoner on a remote crater island for seven years. Judging by those outfits, I'd have guessed it was even longer. <laughs> we looked everywhere for you girls. And when we didn't hear from you after a few years, we assumed you were, well, you know. Well, we're back now, Jerry, and everything's going to be just like old times. I was hoping you'd say that. Whatever happened to Edison? We were able to escape, but we weren't able to capture him. Unfortunately, he could be anywhere. And how did you end up at the pipeline exactly? <laughs> Spies, we've got another emergency. This time it's a hydroelectric plant. We're all over it, dear. Actually, this would be a terrific opportunity to reassimilate Pam and her crew. Why don't you all go on the mission together? Okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> movie on Saturday night. What's all that noise? Oh, I'm at a salon under the hairdryer. A monster movie sounds great. Um, I'll meet you at the mall around 8-ish. Later! I'm picking up something. So am I, Saturday night. <laughs> Sorry. I hate spiders. Why can't it be a ladybug or a butterfly bomb instead? Wow, isn't this place so cool? No! Lost the bomb! Oops, sorry. my pleasure to have known Sam, Clover, and Alex. No, that's not right. I was fortunate enough to have known Sam, Clover, Don't and Alex. Don't people generally write eulogies after someone bites the big one? Girls, you're alive! And ready to get back on this case. Actually, I have wonderful news. You're officially retired. My original spies have taken your place. I don't want to be retired. I never even got a chance to have a midlife crisis. It's a done deal. Now you'll get a chance to enjoy your lives like regular teens. And the world is in the capable hands of Pam, Alice, and Crimson. There's something real fishy about those girls. Whatever are you talking about? Think about it. Why did they just reappear at the pipeline? And why did they know their way around the hydroelectric plant? I think I understand what's happening here. You do? Yes. Obviously, you girls are jealous of my original spies. Who can blame you? They're wonderful. But I trust those girls unconditionally. Might I suggest an acclimating back to civilian life seminar? Us? Jealous? As if. 
Those girls are dirty. I wouldn't be surprised if they were planting bombs as we speak. Actually, they're in Eastern Europe, aiding civilians in the rebuilding of their destroyed power plants. I gave them their gadgets and they left a couple of hours ago. Those girls never pass up a humanitarian mission. On second thought, I think we would like to take that seminar chair. Mind if we hop a whoop jet? My car's in the shop. Not a problem. Spy wannabes are stealing our jobs. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Get real. We're not going to any seminar. I have a hunch those spies aren't on a humanitarian mission. I just hope Jerry's gadgets included lip stock. Bingo. Good thinking. Looks like our girls are on Crater Island in the Arabian Sea. Isn't that where they said they were held captive all these years? Yeah, which is odd considering the island has been barren since a volcano erupted there ten years ago. Let's check it out. Let's 
go save the world. Seven years. Oh, hey, Edison's getting away. Not so fast. <laughs> Isn't there any way I can convince you girls to stay with Hoop? <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. We've had enough Hoop adventures for one lifetime. Besides, we decided we wanted to help rebuild the world's energy plants. Can't help but feel a little responsible. The plant in Beverly Hills by Saturday night because I have a totally hot day. Thanks for helping us out and for all the cool fashion tips. Hope you're not angry about the nasty things we said about you. Well, we weren't really ourselves. Don't worry about it. We understand. Yeah, we forgive you. Now, Jerry, on the other hand. So, you're serious? You decided to give Robbie the benefit of the doubt. That's right. I'm giving up my plans for revenge. If there's one thing I've learned this week, it's that people can definitely change. I'm so proud of you, Clover. Clover, you made it. Hey, Robbie. I'll catch you girls later. Have a seat. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I can't believe it! I can still get the best of you after all these years! <laughs> we'll just see about that.
I trust you found the formula to perform satisfactorily. <laughs> Very well then. James, just transferred from London. Sam, nice to meet you. So, can I take you out for a coffee after school, Sam? It's the least I could do for knocking you over. Sure. I, I mean, if it'll clear your guilty conscience. <laughs> hey, everyone, please take your seats. Who was that? His name is James. He's from England. We're having coffee after school. Oh, no. I totally forgot about our bonding Manny Petty. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's not every day you meet a cute boy with an even cuter accent. I know. Why don't we have a movie night instead? I'll bring the flick, Alex can supply the popcorn, and Clover can bring the atmosphere. Deal. Okay, class. It's time to announce the topic you've selected for your upcoming history project. History project? Clover, Alex, and Sam, please report to the principal's office immediately. Principal's office? I wonder what we did wrong. Well, whatever it is, it's most likely Clover's fault. Hey! I'm innocent this time, I swear. <laughs> Afternoon, ladies. If I wasn't so psyched about missing that history project, I'd be so ticked at you right now, Jer. Oh, I wouldn't be too forgiving just yet, Clover. I've got a little project of my own. I need you girls to find out who broke into this top-secret military base in Central America. A breaking and entering case? Uh, don't they have regular police for that kind of thing? It's not just any case, Sam. The perpetrator attempted to steal a formula for invisibility. <laughs> invisibility? You're joking, right? Not at all. That is way cool. Oh. Not to mention it would totally come in handy next time I have a zit. And now for the gadgets. Today, for your spying pleasure, we have the Smudge Scanner 2010. The feline streamlined cat suit, which allows you to move with the stealth and dexterity of a cat. The phase changer phaser, which momentarily changes materials from solids to liquids. The eyelash curler catapult, self-explanatory. And a pair of brand new, oh so stylish, Higgs. Higgs? Higgs. Heat sensing infrared glamour goggles. Higgs. Now farewell, my friends, or as they say in Central America, adios, amigas. <laughs> and miles away from my hair diffuser. Well, we don't have to be. We could just ask one of these nice gentlemen for directions. Take them inside. Inside? than likely to change our minds. My deepest apologies. You see, it's been beefed up ever since the break-in. Apparently so. Why don't you show us the scene of the almost crime? Well, other than a slowly vanishing carrot, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Maybe we aren't looking closely enough. Bingo! We have a 
a smudge. I'll scan it in and send it to Jerry for analysis. I'm sure he'll be waiting with bated breath. Indeed, I will. So, other than the smudge, how's the investigation going? Do the words boring and uneventful mean anything to you? I get the picture. Why don't you girls come home and consider the case closed for now? <laughs> Sam, you made it. I was beginning to think you'd been taken hostage. Hostage? Yeah, you were in that principal's office forever. Ah. So, anyway, I was thinking maybe we could work on our history project together. Like, make a model of the White House or something. Sure. Sounds great. Great. Hi, it's Sam. You know what to do. Hey, Sammy, it's Alex. Are you coming over? Call us. Come over here, just seeing where you are, Sam. It doesn't take four hours to pick out a movie. Oh, actually, I kind of forgot all about it. Okay, I guess we'll have to watch TV instead. See you in a few minutes. Can't. I'm going to a late movie with James. Huh? I guess you're not so concerned with us spending quality time together after all. Of course I am. You guys are my best friends. So that means you're still going to go running with us in the park tomorrow? I will be there, I promise. <laughs> boyfriend and you don't. Boyfriend? Please, Sammy, like, you barely even know this guy. Yeah, you're totally rushing into things. Fine, then. If that's the way you feel, then maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Fine. Huh? James, you're early. Yeah, I couldn't wait to see you, sweetie. So, what was all the yelling about? You, actually. Apparently, Alex and Clover don't approve of our relationship. Well, if they don't approve, then who needs them? My feelings, exactly. So, are we going on our date? It's a surprise. I so can't believe the way she's acting. It's like she's possessed or something. Yeah, possessed by a mean, snotty jerk. Hey, you don't think Mandy has anything to do with this, do you? Probably not. <laughs> Doesn't 
exactly know that I borrowed it. Now hold on tight. We're coming in for a landing. This is where our surprise date is? James, what's going on here? The truth is, I brought you here because I need your help. You see, I know that you're a spy working on the invisibility case. The invisibility formula is my father's invention. Only, he intends to use it for evil. So when I heard that you were on the case, I posed as an exchange student in your school to seek you out. So, you lied to me? Only because I tried to get the formula once myself and failed. Sam, this doesn't change the fact that I love you. And if you love me, you'll help me destroy the formula. I don't know. you, Sam. And so does the rest of the world. We need you to help stop my father. With this formula, who knows what he could be capable of? Okay, let's do it. Oh, my. What's happened to you? Someone just tried to turn us into roadkill. Well, where's Sam? She wasn't hurt, was she? Hardly. She's out with her new boyfriend. Apparently, she doesn't have time to hang out with her friends or be a spy these days. Girls, I've just received the analysis on the smudge you sent. Hmm, very interesting. The smudge is actually a face print. Does this mean anything to you? James! Guess now we have a pretty good idea who messed with my car. We've got to find Sam. I've traced Sam's compounder to the military base in Central America. We've got to get there right away. But how? That's a stupid question. is pressure sensitive. One wrong step in security will be all over us. Don't worry. This feline streamlined pet suit should do the trick. try to get rid of them today. I guess I should have tried harder. What are you talking about? You're not a criminal, you're my boyfriend. <laughs> I was just using you. Truth is, I'd never date someone so pathetic. Anyway, now that you've helped me steal this, I'll be the ultimate criminal. And my first crime will be to kidnap the president and hold him for ransom. Thanks for our little White House project, I know the building like the back of my hand. Huh? <laughs> Bottoms up. Oh, and Sam, thanks for the memories, sweetie. <laughs> Quick, he's getting away! I can't believe how stupid I was to believe him. I am so sorry. You guys must totally hate me. It doesn't matter that you were a total unbearable jerk, Sammy. Yeah, we still love you no matter how lame you acted. <sighs> We'd love to get back at that weasel. Then let's get out of this net and get to Washington, D.C. ASAP. I'll have us out of here in a jiff. How many of those things do you have? Service. All aboard the eyelash curler cat 
catapult. Ah! Now, how are we gonna find James? He could be anywhere. Our best bet is to find the president. Shh, someone's coming. Just see about that. <laughs> Open wide, Mr. President. Who are you girls, and why did you break into the White House? We told you. We're from Whoop. We're trying to stop a kidnapping attempt on the President. More like trying to kidnap the President yourselves. Now tell us where your other accomplice is. She's probably chasing James, Sam's evil, invisible boyfriend. That's evil, invisible ex-boyfriend. The president huh? is missing. The president is missing. Don't let these two out of your sight. Get into the chopper. Uh. Thanks for saving the president, girls. Oh, and, uh, sorry about the handcuffs. Now who's pathetic, sweetie? Take him away, oh. boys. Nice work, spies. Now, I've got this other mission I need you to get on right away. Oh, sorry, Jer. We plan on disappearing for the weekend. Yeah. We'll catch you later. <laughs> Again. Especially not a boy. From now on, it's all about togetherness. Deal. Oops, sorry. It's my fault. Hey, where are you going? Hello? Oh, well, so much for togetherness.
situation in the dressing room. What I can't understand is why they hand out bottled water at something as silly as a marathon, but not at the biggest sale of the year. Way to do your laundry, Jerry. We have just learned that top athletes from around the world are mysteriously vanishing. Do you have any idea how this is happening, Jerry? All we have to go on is footage of this race car driver in Florida. That's the same blue flash we saw surrounding the athletes in the other clips. But the driver didn't disappear. It's your mission, girls, to go to Florida, protect the driver, and find out what's making these athletes vanish into thin air. Any questions? Just one. Do those cute silver jumpsuits come in size 6? The gadgets you'll be using on this mission include an electromagnetic sensitive video camera, sapphire hologram cones, <gasps> microscopic retracting goggles for clues that are invisible to the naked eye, and the latest in virtual reality disguise belts. This is so cool. You can go straight from the gym to school or the prom with the push of a button. <clears throat> now, for your transportation to Florida, we're giving you Kurt. Kurt? Is he a chauffeur? I hope he's cute and likes to shop. Kurt stands for Clunky Incognito Radical Thought Transporter. I mean, uh, I mean, him. Myself. You've got to be kidding. Not to worry, girls. Kurt is in incognito mode. By simple voice command. Girls, better get on your way. <laughs> girls, or as they say in Japan, ko uno inu. How embarrassing. We need to lose this conquer and get something a little more sporty. from the incident the other day? Sure. I really don't remember much, except a course for the flash of light that made me lose control of the car. I almost hit that photographer. What photographer? He came and left on a motorcycle. That's all I know. If y'all will excuse me, I got a publicity photo shoot in about five minutes. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? That Dale's accent totally reminds me of Troy? Alex, please. I'm thinking that the photographer Dale mentioned might have something to do with this. Come on, let's check the track for clues. Well, if that photographer had anything to do with this, he sure didn't leave us any clues. Great, now what do we do? Let's stick close to Dale during the photo shoot and keep an eye out for that photographer on the motorcycle. I'll tell you what, I'll stick close to Dale while you keep an eye out for the motorcycle guy. <laughs>
what did he do to Alex? That's what we're gonna find out. Remember, Clover? What? That is so lame. I'm telling Jerry Kurt needs a serious makeover. We got bigger issues, like finding out what happened to Alex and Dale. Hello? Help! Alex? I'm on some kind of racetrack in the creepiest looking desert I've ever from the camera for clues. Look! The camera picked up electromagnetic rays coming from that device. Of course! That would explain why Dale didn't disappear the first time. The silver jumpsuit must have deflected those rays. I knew there was a reason I liked that jumpsuit. I think we better call Jerry and let him know what we found. Hello, girls. How's the mission coming along? Not great, Jer. Alex and Dale have been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Oh my, how can I help? Clover's camera picked up some kind of electromagnetic ray that apparently downloaded Alex and Dale into an electronic device. A machine that can download people. Let's see, I do vaguely remember hearing something a few years back about a woman game designer who claimed she had designed such a device. Yes, yes, here it is. A Carla Wong, better known as the Lady Dragon. Finally, an evil villain who isn't bitter about being pissed or something. It says here that the Lady Dragon left the video game industry several years ago because they refused to make some of her more eccentric games. Figures. So, how do we find this Lady Dragon? You can always use the indestructible homing device in Alex's comp powder to track her. We're on it, Jerry. <laughs> short-sighted fools who couldn't grasp my revolutionary vision. But now that I am back with a new line of games, those who oppose me will see the error of their ways. In fact, if you will wait here, I will give you a demonstration. I don't know how, but those girls followed me from the racetrack. Tell everyone to keep their eyes out for them. I've come too far to have anyone interrupt my plans. 
Sam, what are you doing? This isn't time to be playing video junkie. Clover, look at this poster for the Lady Dragon's new game. That looks just like the desert Alex described. Yeah, come on. We've got to get inside this investor meeting. Sorry, invitation only. Hey, pal, you're looking at major investor material right here. Hey, don't these two look like the girls the Lady Dragon told us to watch out for? Get them! <laughs> are totally awesome. How do I look? Do the words hair restoration mean anything to you? My new technique for enhancing realistic gameplay is so incredible, you'll feel like you're playing against real people. of a taste to whet their appetites. Besides, we must hurry to the warehouse to download the new athletes and prepare for mass production. Did you hear that? We've got to tell Jerry about the Lady Dragon downloading more athletes. But what about Alex and Dale? You two! <laughs> Guard the room and make sure nobody gets near the game. Quick, we've got to get them out. Maybe I can crash the system. <laughs> It's Alex. Stay behind me. Me time. Bad news. These power packs are losing juice fast. Well, isn't my two biggest fans. We know you've been kidnapping athletes and downloading them into your games, Lady Dragon. We're here to put an end to it. Unfortunately for you, there is no stopping me. Once I put my games into mass production, all the athletes will be multiplied a thousand times over, chopping them permanently. Get them. These sapphire hologram pendants better work. <laughs> Have you tried the wharf? The wharf, of course. That's where the warehouses always are. Why didn't we think of that? Thanks, Jerry. Girls, I, I think I'm losing you. I don't know who you girls are, but you've interrupted my plans for the last time. You disappeared. Hmm. Silver jumpsuit, electromagnetic fields can't work against a surface of deflection. Uh, yeah, right. Real simple. Now, let's get to the Lady Dragon's warehouse. Oh, wait. I forgot to give Dale my phone number. Clover, go away. 
Months ago, I didn't want to have anything to do with endorsing your whacked out game. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, Silence! Yeah. This time I'm not asking.
excitement about? Beats me. Hello, clueless people. Our yearbooks came out today. Hey, that's right. Now, let's see. Where's the page that announces to one and all that yours truly has been voted the most popular at Beverly High? Mandy? Only the biggest disaster ever to hit Beverly High. It says that Sam's been voted most popular. Oh. Well, there's obviously been some mistake. Everyone knows that I am the most popular girl in school. Why would everyone vote for me? Duh. Because you're smart and funny and totally cool, Sammy. That's why we want to hang out with you this weekend. You do? Of course. We just I realize that your newfound celeb status may be a bit overwhelming, but trust me, you can't run from the limelight. You've got to embrace it. Now let's get back out there and meet your fans. Not so fast. <laughs> Girls, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. Julia Hastings and Dirk Johnson, the world's top box office movie stars, have been mysteriously abducted. <gasps> okay, I take it back. So, how did it happen? In broad daylight, actually, which is particularly odd. That is odd. I thought stars only tanned indoors under artificial sunlight. Do we have any suspects, Jerry? None at all. That's why we would like you girls to go undercover and keep an eye on Brock Williams. Since he's the third biggest box office star, we suspect he may be the next target. No way! Brock Williams is totally hunkalicious. Yes. I'm glad you're enthusiastic, but remember, this is a very high-profile person. Discretion is key. We don't want the media finding out. Oh, relax, Jer. We're totally professionals. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Those are so cute. They're called rocket fuel mules. They're called fabulous. And I call them. Yes. We also have breathe easy, go anywhere air masks, hoop earring communicators, banana clip boomerangs, and that old standby, the jetpack backpack, filled with a few low-key disguises. Thanks, Jer. Whatever. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Mr. Williams to you, and your so-called stalker is a highly respected photographer. 
I don't appreciate my hired help attacking the media. I'm not your hired help. I'm a domestic engineer. Besides, I was just trying to protect you. <laughs> From what? Ending up on the cover of some fabulous high-profile magazine? Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. My camera's completely ruined. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Look, I'm really sorry. Yes, whatever. Just get back to work, all of you. You okay, Clover? Fine. So over? I don't blame you. Brock just went from punkalicious to jerkerific.
mixer. Not quite. It appears Marco Lumiere used his experimental camera lens. Marco Lumiere? Marco Lumiere, a frustrated experimental filmmaker who invented a camera lens which has the ability to freeze its subjects in place. He lives on a secluded island off the coast of South Africa. It's a good bet that's where he's taking Alex. I've arranged for your quick transport. Good luck, girls. <laughs> young talent to exploit.
really eerie. But at least we lost Lumiere's cronies. Wait a second. It's just a mechanized prop. There's nothing to be afraid of. Fancy the thought of myself on the big screen. Perhaps I'll take you up on that offer. Oh, too bad they don't make silent movies anymore, Jer. <laughs> 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 janitor's closet, you know, if you run. <clears throat> Attention, everyone! I have a very important announcement to make. After recounting the official ballots, I have found that there was an error in the tabulation. As I suspected, I am the most popular girl in school! <laughs> or something. Weird. I mean, you think she'd at least have called one of us. Hey! 